Hi and welcome to another watch review video. And this time on my hands is the G-Shock GAW100. Well, I have to say it's uh, one of the most uh, beautiful watches of the G-Line I uh, had ever chance to wear. Well, what does it make um, a watch a beautiful watch? Well, it's basically a um, um, subjective opinion, but uh, I had a chance to wear it on my wrist and I think it is a beautiful watch. It's kind of subtle G-Shock. It's not in your face, not the um, big buttons, the um, crown guards, and the big bolts, the big nuts, and the um, huge buckle. Although this watch has a metal buckle and a rubber strap, it's not a um, significant thing that points uh, when you first see the watch. But the first things that I uh, uh, saw when I saw the watch actually was that these buttons are the, let's call it the classical uh, buttons. They are not some of the uh, rugged imitation of uh, heavy industry uh, buttons for the operating a machine. They are smoothed out uh, metal uh, but buttons and very easy to operate. You can have, you have the uh, response of a, a standard button. Here is the wrist shot for you so you can see how this watch uh, sits on my wrist. Also, a cool feature is this illumination, which is also a back, which also has a backlight for these um, three uh, digital subdials. And here's the loom shot, or the illumination shot, shot of the illumination on this watch. Um, this watch, uh, I very like it because um, it represents the uh, well, somewhat of a classical G-Shock line. And uh, it, uh, when the sales went up, it was one of the uh, most affordable G-Shocks on the market. Also, the thing I would like to stand out are these two uh, hands, the minute and the hour hand. I had an opportunity to uh, review the GA700, which is also a beautiful watch, but uh, I like, like this one more. And what, what is specific about the GA700 is that it has uh, almost the same hands, but this... Uh, Unlike the GA700, uh, watch hands on this watch are not uh, fully uh, uh, in the uh, in these colors. But they have the, they have the um, uh, as well as this. It's a silver um, inside, and like the GA700. And here is the shot of the GA700, so you can compare it. And these two uh, hands or these two colors. Uh, fit but much better fit the watch itself. The watch has the uh, all of the um, uh, m markings in the red, so uh, it's kind of cool feature and a cool uh, macro detail. Let's call it like that. This watch includes features like shock resistance, 200 meter water resistance, uh, luminous hands, world time. One one hundredth of a second stopwatch that goes uh, up to one hour, one second timer that goes up to one hundred minutes, um, five daily alarms, and a full auto LED light. Dimensions of this watch are fifty-five point one millimeter, one uh, millimeter times fifty-two point five millimeters, and uh, sixteen point seven millimeters in thickness. This watch weighs approximately seventy-two grams. Let's get through some basic functions of this watch. First function I would like to stand out and the function that will help you to um, better see the other functions is the move the hands out of the way function. And that works by pressing the mode button for about two seconds. And I'm gonna press that. And the hands are shifting out of the way. Also, a cool feature. I don't know if the camera can pick it up. Yes, we have the uh, this segment of the a sub dial at three o'clock uh, blinking so the, uh, you know that the hands are out of the way and not showing the current timekeeping uh, on this watch. Uh, other cool feature is this uh, is the representation of the uh, date and the time actually. Uh, first of all when the hands are not out of the way these uh, hands will show the uh, time that's the analog time displayed and that's your current uh, home city time but pressing the adjust button sh uh, shifts uh, the var variation of representation of these two sub-dials. By pressing the adjust button, I'm shifting the um, this time format, which is the um, hours and minutes and the seconds, and to the date. So it's 13th of February, 
but the seconds are still there. And uh, let's get to the modes of the watch. By pressing the mode button, I'm shifting through the modes. This is the world time mode, that's the first in a row of modes, and uh, this sub-dial over here shows the um, current time zone that you are in. So that's your secondary time zone. Next press of the button, it uh, goes to get to stopwatch mode. Pressing it again gets us to the timer mode. Pressing it again gets us to the alarm mode. And over here, this sub dial will indicate the uh, number of alarm. Uh, is it the one through five or the hourly time signal? And pressing the uh, mode button again with the higher pitch of the sound gets us to the standard timekeeping mode. Those will be the basics of the uh, this watch that it uh, has. Let's get on with the tutorial part of this video review. Um, before I get to uh, through the functions of the watch and setting the uh, individual functions and the hour, time and date and so on, I would like to stand out that this watch has a multi-band 6 uh, radio uh, time signal correction and also is a solar charged watch. Um, what does the uh, uh, solar, uh, sorry, the radio uh, signal correction mean? Well, it means that the um, time on this watch is calibrated or uh, set using the uh, radio uh, signal. Also, you can have the option to set the time manually, but this watch will operate the auto receive uh, on this uh, with using this function and it will get the accurate time from one of the six radio towers in uh, all over the world. How to see the uh, when was the last signal received by pressing the forward button whilst in the standard timekeeping mode. I'm uh, pointing out that the hands are moved out of the way so you can better have the uh, have the better access to the sub dials. So pressing the forward button, I see that the last time the signal was received was the 6th of March and it received the time as it as, it, as I'm showing. So, um, hence the um, uh, solar charging and solar battery. Uh, I'm gonna point out that this watch has the uh, ability to show the uh, battery level, and that's used done by uh, this sub dial over here. And you have these three segments on the lower sub dial, and it says low, medium, and high. And you can see that this watch is currently at the medium level battery, or the battery and this watch is at the medium level. Um, I've talked about the uh, solar charging and the solar rechargeable battery many times, and I'm gonna not go into details. Uh, you can find those videos on my channel, but because basically it's all the same for uh, almost any G-Shock line from this period. Setting the Time and date on this GAW100 is done like this by pressing the and holding the adjust button for about uh, two seconds until ADG shows on this sub dial over here and then letting it letting it go. And there it is. So I've let it go. Uh, you can see the set is flashing and my current um, city code is also flashing. So we are currently setting the home city on this watch. And uh, to shuffle between the time zones and the city codes, you can press the reverse or the forward button. So basically it will shift up and down to the value or the, of, of the time zones. Each city represents the different time zone. I'm going to leave it at Paris. And once we are done with our time zone, press the uh, mode button again and we shift to the daylight saving time settings. Daylight saving time settings can uh, rotate between auto, off or on uh, depending on your time zone you can leave it uh, what you want but i'm gonna leave it at auto because that's the best preset and it uh, corresponds to the uh, timekeeping on this watch to my time zone next press of the uh, mode button gets us to changing the time format between the 24 and 12 hour format and that's done by pressing the forward button and I can shuffle between 12 and 24 hour time format and I'm gonna leave it at 24 hour time format. Pressing the mode button again shifts us to setting the seconds and you can see the seconds are blinking. Now you can't uh, 
set the exact value of seconds, but you can reset the value using the forward button on this watch. Pressing the mode button again shifts us to setting the uh, setting the hour value. There it is. And you can increase or decrease the value of the uh, hours by pressing the reverse or forward button. That will increase the or decrease the value of the hours. Pressing the mode button again shifts us to minutes and procedure is the same. Uh, pressing these two will increase or decrease. And again, the procedure is exactly the same for year setting, the um, uh, month setting and setting of the um, date or the day sorry next press of the mode button gets us to uh, setting the uh, button operation tone is it on or off this uh, over here means that the uh, button operation tone is on by pressing the forward button i can uh, mute it and also uh, it's it's written over here but this uh, segment is also illuminated uh, pressing the forward button again i'm turning it on Next press of the mode button gets us to the uh, illumination duration. Currently it's blinking one, which means the uh, illumination duration is set to one and a half seconds. And I can uh, shift it or uh, rotate, with, rotate it between one and three by pressing the forward button. Uh, LT3 stands for duration of three seconds of the illumination when I press the uh, illumination button. I'm gonna leave it at one. Next press of the button, mode button, gets us to the power saving. So currently power saving is on, but pressing the forward button, you can turn it off. I'm gonna leave it at on. And next press of the mode button, returns us to the beginning of the cycle. And basically you have preset the all of the values that this watch has to offer. Uh, and uh, once you are done with the settings, just one press of the adjust button, returns us to the standard timekeeping mode and the um, set settings that we made earlier are now uh, present on this watch. The world time mode on this watch, you can use the world time mode to view the current time in one of the 31 time zones or the 48 cities around the globe. The city that's currently selected in the world time mode is the called world time city. How to enter the world time mode? Well, by pressing the from the timekeeping mode, pressing the mode button once and it's indicated and it was indicated on this sub dial over here. So let me zoom in these the three sub dials because they are important in this segment. So we have entered the world time mode and how to view the uh, time in other time zones well that's done by pressing the forward button over here so here we go by pressing the forward button over here i'm using the this button to screw through the city codes of this watch and each press or each representation of this uh, city over here will automatically correspond to uh, shifting or changing the day time value on the um uh, left sub dial. Uh, it is a pretty cool and uh, feature that these modern watches have. Also, you can see that DST over here is uh, currently not lit up, but some of the time uh, some of the time zones have the uh, DST currently on, and it will be shown on the um, this segment over here if the town has the. Uh, DST setting turned on. Uh, another cool feature that I would like to show you that this watch has is the swapping your home city in the world time city. Um, first of all, you have to find the world time city on this watch. Let's say that you are frequent, frequent flyer, flyer from the Paris to, I don't know, um, let's find some city. Um, Hong Kong, let's say you are flying to Hong Kong and to swap the uh, uh, home city between your world time city hold down these two buttons, so adjust and the reverse button until the, for the same time until the watch beeps and your uh, primary time zone becomes your secondary time zone and your world time city becomes your 
home home city. So basically, it's a very useful function for those who are flying between A to B regularly. Using the stopwatch on this watch, the stopwatch measures the elapsed time, split times, and two finishes. How to enter the stopwatch mode? From the timekeeping mode, keep pressing the mode button until, until the STW is indicated on the subdial at 3 o'clock. So let's go once. So you have to press it two times. So what does what do uh, these array of uh, zeros indicate? Well, first of all, here are the minutes. So that's the uh, first row uh, of the zeros, that's the minutes. Second row indicates the seconds. And this is one one. Uh, one one hundredth of a second. How to perform an uh, elapsed time operation? Press the uh, lower uh, right button to start the stopwatch. Also the same button to stop it and to resume it. Again to stop it and the adjust button to reset the value. How to pause at a split time? Press the uh, start button, that's the forward button. Um, press the adjust button and SPL will be displayed, there it is, split release, again the same button, forward button to stop it and adjust button to reset the value. How to measure the two finishes, press the uh, forward button to start it, press the adjust button to split it, first runner finishes. Uh, that's display the time of first runner, I press the forward button to stop it, second runner finishes, again press the adjust button, display time of the second runner, and press the adjust button once again to reset the value of the stopwatch. And those would be the basics of the stopwatch mode on this watch. Using the countdown timer, the countdown timer can be set within a range of 1 minute to 100 minutes. An alarm sounds when the countdown timer reaches zero. How to enter the um, countdown timer? Pressing the mode button. Uh, currently we are in stopwatch mode, so let's get back to the standard timekeeping. And there we are. So from the st standard timekeeping, pressing the mode once, twice, and three times gets us to the um, timer countdown timer mode over here the countdown timer value is indicated so currently it's set to five minutes how to adjust the uh, value of the countdown timer pressing the adjust button until the time starts to flash and there it is it's flashing and the hands are moved out of the way so you can have better access to the sub dial let me zoom in so you can better see what am I talking about? How to increase or decrease the value of this um, countdown timer value? Pressing the reverse and the forward button will increase or decrease the value of the countdown timer. So let's say I want to go to uh, 10 minutes. And there, there it is, 10 minutes. Uh, how to uh, set to move the uh, blinking or setting of the seconds? Well, press the mode button. And currently the seconds are blinking so again use these two buttons to increase or decrease the uh, seconds value how to um, uh, set the values that so you have pre you have set the countdown timer value you want press the adjust button and um, that uh, time will uh, be set so currently my countdown timer is set to 10 minutes and how to start the or perform the countdown timer operation press the forward button to activate the countdown timer and you can see the time is counting down the same button to stop it or resume it stop it again and uh, press the adjust button to reset the value before starting a countdown timer operation check uh, check to make sure that a countdown operation is not in progress and that will be indicated by the seconds counting down an alarm sounds uh, for 10 seconds when the end of the countdown timer is reached uh, this count this uh, alarm will sound in all modes uh, the countdown time is res reset to its uh, starting value automatically when the alarm sounds Using the alarm, you can set uh, five independent daily alarms. Uh, when a daily alarm is turned on, an alarm tone will sound for about 10 seconds each day 
when the time in the timekeeping moon reaches the preset alarm time. This is true even the uh, watch is not in the timekeeping mode. You can also turn on the hourly time uh, signal which will cause the watch to beep twice uh, every hour on the hour. Uh, so first of all, let's get to the um, alarm mode and that's done from the timekeeping mode by pressing the mode button until we get the ALM indicated on this subdial over here. And there it is, shortly after the ALM is indicated, uh, you have the number of the alarm shown over here. So currently it's preset to the alarm 1, but you can scroll through the value of these alarms by pressing the forward button. So you can scroll through the 5 daily alarms and the hourly time signal. Each of these alarms can be uh, preset to its value. How to set the uh, alarm value? Well, first of all, I'm going to show you how to activate the alarm. Let's say the, you want to activate the alarm number one, which will go on at midnight by pressing the adjust button. You are turning the alarm on and that's indicated on this sub dial over here, as well as this um, uh, little um, part of the uh, segment of this sub dial. Also press the same button again to turn it off. These two lines mean that the alarm is off. So uh, let's go through the procedure of setting the uh, alarm value by pressing and holding the adjust button and waiting for the uh, minute, uh, sorry, the hours to blink. Now we are in the process of setting the alarm on this watch. Use the reverse and the forward button to increase or decrease the value of um, uh, hours as well as the minutes. So basically you can scroll through the value. Let's say I want to set it at 12 o'clock. Next, um, a press of the uh, um, mode button shifts us to setting the uh, minutes and procedure is the same. These two to increase or decrease. Once we are done, press the adjust button and the alarm is automatically on. So currently we have turned the uh, alarm at 12 o'clock. Uh, that's the alarm number one. Because I want to uh, return this watch to the store, I'm going to press the adjust button to turn it off. So uh, you can scroll through the five alarms and the procedure is exactly the same for all of the five alarms. For the hourly time signal, you can turn it on or off. And when I turn it on, it's indicated on this sub dial over here, as well as the uh, this part is lit up on the uh, sub part of this or segment of this sub dial. So I'm going to turn it off and basically uh, that would be all the settings of the or the uh, options that uh, alarm mode or of this watch gives you. And for a final segment of this review, I'm going to show you how to turn on the auto illumination. The auto illumination stands for the automatically illuminating the watch face when you turn uh, your when you flick your wrist to see what's the time. So uh, pressing the, the timekeeping mode, pressing and holding the uh, light button will automatically, for about 3 seconds, will automatically turn on the auto illumination and that's indicated on this uh, screen over here. So the LT segment is in the, lit up and uh, that means the auto illumination is on. Repeating the procedure or pressing the reverse button and holding it will do the uh, exact same process again. It will turn off the auto illumination. Another, another cool feature that I would like to show you is the handset or the correction of the hands of this watch, uh, hand home position adjustment. In the standard timekeeping mode, uh, keep the adjust button pressed until the um, uh, this uh, screen over here will indicate the uh, hand adjustment. But uh, you cannot see this screen, so let me move the hands out of the way. And there they are. So let's return to the main story. Uh, keeping the adjust button pressed. Don't, put, don't uh, release and now release when the handset is shown on this watch. So previously it was shown the uh, adjust. So do not release the adjust button. Keep it pressed until the handset indicates and then press the uh, then release the adjust button. So that means that you are in this uh, correction segment. Uh, this correction segment means that you will uh, now enter the hand uh, 
uh, home position adjustment and uh, everything is properly set when the hands are aligned at 12 o'clock but when they are not use the reverse or the forward button to move the hands in the uh, clockwise or anti-clockwise fashion uh, this is the representation of how it works and once once you align the hands and everything is set the way you want it uh, press the adjust button and the watch will return to the standard timekeeping mode and with that i'm basically uh, done with this review we have ran through all of the functions and features of this watch please do leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more watch content thanks